Greetings everybody and welcome back to a brand new episode of some Bong Geek Talks About with me your host, the name's Stevens, Henry Stevens. Everybody, how do you do? Hope you're all well. Hope you're enjoying a good Bond film, a good Bond book, a good Bond video game, a good James Bond, whatever makes you part of this glorious fandom. Everybody, how do you do? And today, this is going to be the most personal some Bong Geek Talks About story we have done on this show. Yes, um, recently I did my uh, Goals and I review, as you might have seen it, it is my favourite still all-time James Bond film, it's my very first James Bond film, and normally in uh, my reviews, as some of you know, I always like to take you on my personal history with each film, but I felt, even though I went into a little bit in the review, there's a need to really dive in deep and do a whole story specifically on this particular film, because I think it could contain a whole video, and I hope it's going to be a really fun interesting story for you all everybody so but before we begin everybody can we always can i just ask you please to like comment subscribe may you also consider um selecting the notification bell icon if you subscribe to see future updates and videos and just as always everybody from me to you just a massive thank you uh for being here and being part of some bong geek talks about community it means a lot now everybody let's get into it so listen everybody as i mentioned earlier Goldeneye is my favourite James Bond film of all time. Um, there are films that come close, and there has been times when I was wondering, actually, does this film actually better? But no, it's always Goldeneye for me. I love that film so much, it's unreal. Uh, and just my history with it, my personal history is so incredible. And I'm basically going to tell you, literally, this is how I first saw Goldeneye. Okay, so, um, I was at school at the time. Um, it was 1996. So I was about five years old, you know, I was just starting sort of normal school, you know, come out of nursery, sort of deal. And essentially, I remember just coming home, though, I have a older brother who you saw on the uh, GoldenEye video. He's three years older than me, so, you know, if I was four, he was seven. And my mum rented some films from Blockbuster that night. And literally, she got one for herself and dad to enjoy, which was Goldeneye, but also for my older brother to enjoy as well, because they thought it was about, you know, he could watch that as well. And I just remember coming home, and honestly, listen, everybody, you might disagree with me, but sometimes in life, you just remember certain things from your childhood, like certain moments that, you know, you just know off by heart. And this, to me, was absolutely one of them. And what I remember was... Literally, my mum basically saying to my brother, here's a film, I'd, you know, I thought you'd enjoy it. It's called Goldeneye. It's about someone who saves the world. And, um, you know, I, I basically, because I didn't like being left out of things, you know, I wanted to come and watch it too, really. So I, I assume I just sat and watched it with them. So obviously, you know, just take from that, everybody. You can understand my love of Blockbuster moment. It was thanks to my mum and Blockbuster that I got introduced to to the world of James Bond. That, to me, is really cool. Uh, so I'm always indebted to Blockbuster. May it rest in peace. It's a legend. Um, but if those of you who are young in the audience, let me explain. Blockbuster was the original Netflix. <laughs> um, you'd have to go out to the store, pay, like, £3.50 or, like, fiver to rent a movie and have it for a couple of days and bring it back, you know? You had to go somewhere. Um, so essentially, yeah, now everybody, all I can tell you is literally, I just remember what op the opening gun barrel in the film, thinking that was super cool, even as a, you know, as a, what, five-year-old kid? Hold on. No, not five-year-old kid. Hold on. Four-year-old kid, sorry. Four-year-old kid. And then literally, I, I, I can't explain it better than this, just watching the movie and then seeing as a four-year-old Bond jump off that dam... And just doing that awesome cool thing, the whole pre title things. Literally, all I can tell you is my mind was just completely blown. It was it was euphoric. It was like it, it just felt like I was being introduced to something that really mattered to me, really important. Um, I can't I can't explain about it. It was just a feeling inside me like this is my thing, and this is something I really care about. And do you know what? Um, I didn't watch all that film when I had to go to bed early. I was only four years old. But I think I watched it up to um, after the first sex scene in the movie. And that brings me on to my second story when it comes to uh, Goldeneye, everybody. This is not a word of a lie. And my mum, who you saw in the previous video talking about it, would back me up at this if you ever met her and asked her. You've got that sex scene with Xena on the top and the Admiral. You know, with, you know that weird freaky stuff. You know, your feet, you can break me and all that stuff. I remember this and my mum does too. 
literally, I was just watching this. As, and remember, four years old, everybody. Four years old. And just watching it and literally seeing this whole thing. I just went, Mummy, what are they doing? <laughs> <laughs> Trying to imagine that is the first sex scene in the movie I've ever seen. The actual first anything related to sex I've ever seen. It's that scene. And my mum literally just perfectly wanted to say, just watch the film. <laughs> Isn't that brilliant? Isn't that absolutely brilliant, everybody? I, I, I think it is. I really hope it is. I just love it. But, you know, I remember my mum returned it and then it was time to get another go to belt luster again i made sure you know begging my mummy i want golden eye mummy i want golden eye and we just kept renting it and i think every time i think my parents went to blockbuster after that we just kept renting golden eye and I eventually watched the whole movie because you know again four years old not a greatest attention span but finally got through it and i just loved it i love watching it again and again and again and again and again and then i remember it was actually for my older brother he got the the video weirdly enough uh but we got obviously Goldeneye on VHS. And then, you know, it was unlimited watching for Henry here. <laughs> and then I've got, to, I've got to bring in my grandfather into this story here, because as you, you all know on the channel, I watched a lot of Bond films with my grandfather. I basically grew up with my grandfather as well, and we watched the Bond films a lot together. He loved Goldeneye. You know, he really liked Goldeneye. He thought it was a great movie. And literally, it's like Henry, who always wanted to watch, basically, I don't know, Goldeneye or Mary Poppins. Uh, with him because Mary Poppins was one of his favorite films of all time as well you know it was like oh yeah just just watch that literally well growing up I was watching with him dad's army James Bond films a couple of Disney films that was it you know just we went watching the stuff a lot of the stuff together but he loved Goldeneye and he loved watching this film because he knew how much I loved it so much and he could get into that and get the excitement off it um you know you know you know you know, following on for now, I think I should scroll back a bit. I'm not joking. Um, you know, eventually, I think some of my friends around the time, um, I think other people were into gold and I as well. And I, I, I do remember at school talking to some of my friends, you know, friends four years old at the time saying, just saw this film called Gold and I, or something like that. You know, obviously a four years old version. And uh, I remember other people starting to watch it as well. We were sort of, you know, me and my group of friends, we just sort of like discovered James Bond together a bit at four years old. Um... Isn't that crazy? Isn't that crazy? And again, it's why I've got such a personal connection to James Bond. So yeah, eventually we got the d video. Um, I think we did just complete. I must have completely just watched that film so many times. I must have destroyed the tape. But you know, from there we got another version on VHS. Um, and then you know, just and then eventually I got it on DVD and then Blu-ray, which we've got it now. And just you know, my personal history with Bond is brilliant, and still to this day, I've got such a personal connection to it, because, you know, if I say to my family, um, okay, let's watch a film, um, would you be interested in watching a Bond film? Um, you know, and, you know, most of the time, it, you know, it's a, you know, it's a no, but on the occasion, it's a yes. Generally, rule of thumb is, um, let's watch Goldeneye. It's Henry's favourite, we all love Pierce Brosnan, and it's one we watch a lot. Um, example being, even with my mum, um, literally, if, I, if she says to me, like, let's watch a Bond film, I'll try to suggest maybe a Brosnan, um, you know, so, uh, I'll sorry, get back to Brosnan, like a Connery, maybe, or maybe Skyfall, because my mum's a fan of Skyfall. Not really a fan of Daniel Craig, to be honest. Um, but eventually, literally, um, it's, we end up watching a Pierce Brosnan film, and nine out of ten times, let's just watch Goldeneye again. Because it's so good, and I think everyone in my family just loves it to bits that much. Um, heck, I... I my best friend in the world, um, he literally, he he and I were growing up, again, he loved Goldeneye, he loved the Bond films, his favourite film is You Only Live Twice, but again, through our love of um, actually the James Bond series as well, we became friends as well, you know, that's all come from Goldeneye, everybody, when you just, when you hear all I've got to say right here, and just how much of a connection I have to Goldeneye, heck, with my best friend, he had a Nintendo 64, that's how I played Goldeneye on the 64, us playing that together, you know, and watching the film as well. Just just all of the stories I've told you about, like, my first sex scene, how I got into Bond through Blockbuster from a young age, you know. And, um, again, following on from that, you know, my parents started getting me some other Bond films, mostly, like, um, the PG-rated ones. Like, um, well, actually, my next Bond film I saw was actually Tomorrow Never Dies. That's a bit of a lie. Then I watched Goldfinger and so on. Um, you can see why it's so special to me, the Bond series. Um, it all started just from a four-year-old, just, you know, just one, not wanting to be left out and watching Goldeneye, just even for a little bit. And I love it to bits. I, I love it to bits. And I have such a personal connection with it. I'll always have... Every time I watch 
um, a Bond film with a member of family, normally is Goldeneye. Heck, if I'm ever moving house, the first film I'll play in the new Bond film I'll play in the house is my favourite, Goldeneye. If there's a special occasion coming up, like, um, well, here's something stupid, okay, but this is legit. Um, after my birthday every year, I say, okay, what's the first Bond film I'm going to watch of now being whatever age I am in the case of me, 29? It's Goldeneye. It's stuff like that. It's always Goldeneye. And I never get tired of watching it. And I love that film to bits so much, everybody. But yeah, this this has just been me talking, a bit of ranting, raving about my love of Goldeneye. Um, just the sort of personal history side of it. Okay, there is a lot. And there will be a lot more coming in the future Brosnan films, because that's where my real connection is. But... I love Goldeneye, everybody, and I have such a strong family connection to it. It is unreal. But again, everybody, I wanted to thank you for letting me talk to you about my personal connection to Goldeneye. I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope you laughed at the sex scene joke. I hope you liked how, you know, my introduction to it and everything and how personal it is. Can I ask everybody, if you're watching this video, I would love to hear your personal connections like to your first Bond film. How, which Bond film has really impacted your life the most? In the most positive way or the most negative way? Seriously, I would love to start having a conversation with you about this. Why don't you comment down below, tell me your stories. Let's start a conversation going. As always, everybody, my name's Henry Stevens and this has been some Bond Geek Talks About. Goodbye.